Hey, welcome back to Sherwood Park Farms. My name is Jay Tronke, and this is part two of a five-part tutorial series um, on Sherwood Park Farm, and in particular on the production modules incorporated, which you will find in many maps, of course. Today's tutorial is on wood and lumber mills. So our first stop is to check out the wood chipper and the sawduster, and then we'll look at each of the, the two lumber mills on this map. So let's start off at the grain elevator, where we're going to find the sawduster and wood chipper. So coming into the back, we see first off the wood chipper. Each, each of these accepts logs here out front. The wood chipper requires a second input, which is in the form of diesel fuel. So you can see the nozzle right here through which it acquires its diesel. And then on the other side of this Jens chipper, it will drop off our wood chips. The same is true of the sawduster, where sawdust comes out, of course, of the uh, Silo King here. So you get your sawdust here, and you input either fuel here, or you can put wood chips in there so that it starts off with its fuel to produce sawdust. Now, mind you, um, I have not actually used this one yet, and from what I'm seeing here, it actually requires three inputs. So it might require all three of them, wood chips, uh, diesel, and logs themselves. Um, that's entirely possible. This is, not, this is one machine I have yet to use. So that is our first stop for what you can do with wood and uh, taking a glance at the map that is right here in the center at the grain elevator. We're gonna work our way up. I'm gonna show you a back road to the joinery. This is the northern of the two routes or of the two um, lumber mills. So as we head back towards our farm, rather than crossing the bridge, we'll just take a right. And this is kind of the back entrance to the northern lumber mill. The northern lumber mill has three outputs that it gives, each one auto cells, um, and only one input. There's no fuel input required. This right here is a, uh, a customization portion for your vehicles. Here are the three outputs. You get barrels, crates, and pallets. And the only input goes in right here, and that would be wood or logs. And as you can see, um, I am currently, it looks like I have uh, 170,000 logs still um, in the queue right now. So we're good on that front, and it's just gonna continue to produce. It has three separate outputs. So this is uh, the simplest of the two lumber mills probably where you want to start actually the first place for it that you'll want to fill up on a, on a hole um, this is the main road through town starts on the north side ends on the south side um, we drive on the left side of the road instead of the right this is a, a European map an English map um, of course Sherwood Park and we're gonna head all the way down to the south side This is the second of our lumber mills on this map. Um, it is slightly different in that you also have an input here. You have diesel fuel that is required to run this particular joinery. And it doesn't have three outputs, it only has two. And these two are identical. These are boards. As you can see, we're here on the southern side of the map where it says boards. And what's interesting here is that uh, right now my lumber mill is bugged out. So this can happen on occasion where I have 5,000 on one side, and the other side looks identical. It is identical, but it's claimed to have zero. This happens sometimes. It's basically because, as you can see, stuff isn't exactly straight. Um, because of that, sometimes it just, well, bugs out. Um, what you need to do then, that's why I have a skid steer over here, is just, just hook up the skid steer, grab the pallet, move it over the auto cell point, and it'll just sell off the wood. It'll recognize, okay, we're clear. It's okay to continue to produce. This happens every so often, not ton, not always, but often enough that you'll wanna check in every two or three days just to make sure that this lumber mill is still working appropriately. Um, as you would expect, your wood here goes on the corner, goes on the far edge there. And interestingly, there is another section right there for your vehicle uh, customization. Along with that, there's a barn right here 
for any of your uh, forestry equipment that you'd like to keep in the area. Lastly, this joinery does have an output and it's a useful output. This output is sawdust. How is it useful? It's useful because at the BGA, which is right across this bridge, the BGA has a compost master and it will take your sawdust, it'll take almost anything, as an input. So grab the sawdust from the joiner, drop it off at the compost master. Now you've got compost to use in all of your garden centers. And the garden center is a topic for our fourth tutorial yet to come. Before we get there though, we're going to head back to the main farm and we're going to talk animals. How do we best take care of our cows, our pigs, and our sheep here on Sherwood Park Farm? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed this and uh, learned a little something from this tutorial. And we'll see you there in tutorial number three, animals.